dancing on rainbows, pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows, pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Hello everybody and I hope you enjoyed all the replays. So, uh, yeah, if you looked at that without watching the replays first, you would have actually 
forget how this works. We have Melfi's some beast good stuff. Fabled? A lot of hand traps? Jar of Greed? Reckless Greed? The hell? So, uh, yeah. Melfi Unicorn Control. Why did I choose Melfi? That is because I wanted to replenish my hand and get some resources out of this as well. Melfi Puppy is very good with getting Kalantos on the field for a pop and getting a card back to my hand, while Catty does the same but gives me two cards in hand, which is very important for any sort of hand control. We're playing Melfi type because, well, quick play Monster Reborn, Melfi Hide and Seek because protection and drawing. Rescue Cat because it's a combo starter, Nozochi because we want to s discard several, and if we discard several we basically have full combo. Obedient Skull because beast good stuff, and then we're playing a lot of hand traps, triple Ash Blossom, double Ghost Ogre, triple DD Crow, triple Veiler, one Imperm. So why did I choose such a ratio? I chose Ash Blossom because, well, it's Ash Blossom, it's obvious why it's here. And Ghost Ogre because it's Ghost Ogre. The most important here are DD Crow and Veiler, mostly DD Crow. I wanted to have something that I can chain to basically most activations to reduce my hand size so I can adjust. And that's why DD Crow and Veiler are here. And because they're chainable, not once per turn and they give me the ability to lower my hand size to match the opponent. And the Jar of Greed and the Reckless Greed are here if I want to boost my hand size even further. The Jar of Greed doesn't, gives us, doesn't give any pluses, which is bad when it comes to card advantage, but you can just set it and have the ability to adjust your hand size accordingly with the help of the hand traps and the traps over here. I really like the fact that you can do this very flexibly. The deck is very flexible when it comes to hand size. Even when the opponent knows how to counter Unicorn, it's very hard for them because they have to basically adjust their hand size to yours, but you can also adjust with your hand traps and your, your trap cards. That's also the reason why we're not playing too many spells and traps. Only 14 spells and traps and 26. And that's the basic idea behind this deck. The 12 cards in the extra deck are just rank 2 good stuff, like Phoenix, Mami, Triple Sandayu, which can be very, very hilarious. Double Shark, Double Gantetsu, and Triple Melfi of the Forest. This deck is very interesting, I really like it. It's very hard to use, don't get me wrong. It can go very wrong, but if it gets going, it gets going. Fabled Unicorn has the best negation effect in the game. And if you can adjust your hand size to get that effect live, a uh, quickly established Unico is basically unbeatable. And that is my take on this. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Chico Sangyan, peace!